Okay. <coughs> Sim zero AOV. Okay, what I've done is got my flex up and running. So I've got a flex 3000 there. And um, set everything up. So that's fully working. He's really bad he is. He's about 7k wide. No idea what his call sign is. I've been listening long enough. Um, where I've got uh, log 4 OM uh, working. Let me just turn his audio down. So log 4 OM, that's fully working. Let me just pop onto the settings. Just want to have a look at the settings that I've got. So at least I've got them there anyway. So I've got these for myself. Just going to go through these. So if anything does happen to my hard drive or anything, at least I'll have um, some information. So I don't have to go and look on my other computer and find out what that's uh, got put on there. So I've got some information. Uh, showing what my settings are so as long as I've got that it's easy enough to actually get set up or reset back up that's it on that um, right with the flex as well go through these because you can actually save these anyway uh, down onto your hard drive but at least this is already here so I'll just go through all of them once again just show so it um, shows the information up and um, at least I've got them there. So once again, I can recheck them. Um, let me just put this down a little bit. So at least I can recheck them anyway, anytime I want. I'm moving around. And. Um, it's easy enough just to get everything set back up again. So, this is my setting for the Flex. Flex 3000. Right. And that's it for the Flex. So, everything works fine on there. Uh, the settings for log for OM that's working correct now and also the sound and the PTT got all that set up now so if I want to do any any uh, digimodes or anything like that I can because I've got um, the sound and the PTT set up just wanted to do um, a little video on log for OM to uh, keep the information there uh, regarding um, my settings and uh, also for OmniRig settings here we go so COM20 that's from uh, the SDR on there so at least that's set up everything else works there's a couple of things you've just got to do when you're setting up uh, log for OM if you don't want the digital modes or CW just over here this side you just click on if they're green they're active and they'll show up uh, if they're just white they don't show up uh, so I do that first thing uh, I didn't do this when I come on normally I just pop down to the bottom here and press hide on there and then go up to the top here and open whatever up that needs opening up 
so you've got a full view for the cluster um, and then go to the super cluster click on uh, super cluster status uh, show data uh, from HRD log to net click on phone and then click use, uh, use radio uh, band so now that's all going to be on um, 40 meters you can get rid of that and now that's all set up and running as well so no problem at all with that now um, that's fine it's all working so with the flex I've got standard mic from my uh, 991 plugged into the flex and that works perfect uh, lots of ways to connect different mics and everything to them uh, but I'm just using a, a standard mic on it at the moment um, you can actually go into the flex and uh, on the setup um, is it the audio? No, transmit. If you click here, more profiles, and you've got all the different profiles there. Um, I've already got a few in here uh, that I've done myself with uh, different mics connected. Just in case, the only one I do normal anyway is the SSB normal. And that's um, 2.7k wide. And everything's been set up as it should do. I've looked at some of the videos that I uh, should look at. And uh, that shows you how to set everything up with, um, uh, what is it, your mic, EQ, um, ALC, ALC comp. And then we're uh, making sure about your forward power. What actually uh, gets uh, sent up to the antenna and that. And really, it's a very, very good uh, radio for the flexes. You can see quite a bit that's uh, going on on the band. And you can see all the, let's say, the really wide operators. Uh, I've seen a couple today, uh, especially one French guy. It's one at the moment that's on here. Let's just uh, put the airs here. Uh, there's one French guy somewhere around here and he was probably around about 10, 10 to where 12 kilohertz wide really bad he's got definitely somewhere wrong with his radio but at least you can see uh, what's happening on there on the pan adapter because that's the pan for spectrum there's the pan adapter itself but for that, that's, that's easy enough to do, but um, I find this one is a lot easier. It's a bit like looking at uh, some of the Digimode, seeing what's on there, um, with everything going down the screen. And then you just clicking on it, and you're almost there. So... Flex radio is very, very good. I do like the flex. But once again, 7600, FT2000, 847, and my 991. Um, all very good radios for what they do. So it just depends on... Uh, what, what radio you want to play with at the time. I do certain things with uh, certain radios. Um, FT2000 for my um, ESSB audio. If I want to do any DXing with my um, Expert 1K, then I've got my 7600. Um, just normal rag chore at the moment. The Flex and um, the 991. And um, once again, if I want to do any other other DXing with a, a different radio and amplifier, 847 and my BLA 350. So, lots to play around with. 
and that's what um, ham radio is all about having different things that you can play around with and um, I like to play radio quite a lot I do listen quite a bit but um, if there's something interest that, uh, out there that um, I want to do at the time or give a call to or have a chat with then um, I can click around and find out what I want to play with at the, at the time that is there's my um, uh, 400 for uh, fusion that's on my um, node at the moment on um, fusion itself everything's running on this computer so I can knock that down knock that down let's get rid of these uh, memory and um, there's my wires X that's connected at the moment as well so um, that's what I was listening to um, on the 991 let's say very very nice radio I do like uh, the 991 you can do so much with it and especially if you want to play fusion so at least uh, that's just a, a little run through of what I've got uh, running around at the moment on in the shack and especially with the flex something different um, and with all my settings at least I've got uh, a record now for my settings just in case um, I need to put them back on the the computer so at the moment I'm just uh, sorting that about cloning my own hard drive just in case anything happens to my hard drive on this laptop <coughs> I've had this laptop around about ooh, seven years now, so it still works very, very well. But um, you never know if uh, the hard drive is going to go anytime. So that's why I'm just cloning my hard drive. And there's uh, my webcam outside at my antennas. That's a live stream at the moment on my uh, QRZ page, so I can see what's actually happening outside and there's all my uh, weather station information so I keep an eye on uh, the antennas and everything especially because we've had uh, some really high winds um, over the last month or so I think we've had them up to about 60 mile an hour around uh, this area so you never know okay that's just a quick look around the shack again from M0AOV you have a very good day